Looks like we've got one from the Ares Build-A-Figure Wave. Come on back and check it out. Welcome back, cave dwellers. We are in the Manchild Cave. I am the 417 Manchild, and today we're going to be looking at a older Marvel Legends Ultimate War Machine. Looks like it was an exclusive from Walmart. I found this in a flea market. I think I paid eight bucks for it, somewhere around there. I know it wasn't. I don't think it was closer to ten. I think it was around seven or eight dollars for it. I was like, heck yeah, sold. So before you do anything, before we do anything, let's go ahead and hit that like button. Just go whoop, boop like that and just hit that like button. And uh, that helps the algorithm and all that good stuff. So I'll ask you to do a little more later. So, But for now, we've got the Marvel Legends Ultimate War Machine. So this thing was pretty cool. Like in any Iron Man type uh, armor I can pick up, I am going to do because I want to eventually get the Iron Man, uh, the Hall of Armor, and start putting them all in there. So, uh, so do all these make up the, yeah, so looks like the Human Torch uh, made up the left arm, crossbones made up the left leg. I ended up getting the uh, re-release of him. Uh, Heroes Reborn Iron Man. He he's, comes with the helmet and sword. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool Iron Man. I think I've seen that before. I didn't know that was from this wave. Uh, Vision. He makes up the right leg. That Scarlet Spider. Oh, Ben Riley himself makes up the right arm. Guardian Lower Torso. Kang the Conqueror. That would have been a fun one to find too. Since I missed out on the, uh, what was that, Ross when they re-released uh, him in that one wave. Uh, I've got most of the Build-A-Figure, the, what was that, the uh, Smart Hulk, or Joe Fix-It, Joe Fix-It Hulk, that's right. And uh, I never found him in the store, so a little sad, but that's okay. Uh, I've scored a lot of awesome Ross finds uh, with Marvel Legends, and then of course the Ultimate War Machine comes with the head. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, take this on off. And I'm sure I'm killing a couple people by doing this, but it has to be open. It's on my channel. I can't have anything still in package. It's not how we roll here in the man cave. So this one, actually, the plastic wraps around the back of it. And I wasn't sure how much that was going to tear up. Looks like it goes all the way around the uh, bottom, too. So let's go ahead and... Let's do my best not to cut my fingers off uh, or slice my wrist. Yeah, let's be smart about this, kids. Oh, man, that is on there. Holy macaroni. Fine. Fine, fine. You win. Packaging. Packaging one, me zero. All right. So let's just do that. Is that going to be easier? Okay. Yeah, that looks easier. So we'll put that up here back or up here back there around there somewhere all right so there is the packaging and here he is with the fun little cartoon looking thing here no no we may cut that out and save that for something who knows i'm wacky wild and it looks like we've got some kind of instructions or something down here so yeah why not i went ahead and cut it so that's all right. I guess it comes with a build a figure head, so they're like, you don't need anything else. Uh, I think it shows you how to build the figure, the build a figure. I think it's what this is. So let's take a look. We've got, we're good on time. We're just in about four minutes, so not too shabby. I, <laughs> plastic one, me zero. Holy macaroni. Come on. What is going on here? Did I tell you guys? I can't remember if I said this or not, but I had somebody in the comments tell me I sound like, uh, oh gosh, uh, what's his name? Uh, I'll think of it here in a second. I'm trying to look at my stuff here. Like, what, what is this? Okay, so yeah, it's just the build a figure. Uh, yeah, fun. You can make little check marks to see which ones you got or have the figure sitting there and see what you're missing. 
but yeah that's fun i like that i'll keep that around maybe take a picture of that all right so looks like he did maybe have some rubber bands hold him on but time time took care of him i don't know yeah <laughs> get you on out of here let's get Aries head out there. oh goodness there you go well, sounds like my neighbor's mowing the lawn I don't know if that's gonna I just got through mowing the lawn so you know how co neighborhood competitions go or neighborhood peer, peer pressure all right fine they mowed their lawn I guess I'm on my lawn too bastards uh, get all these off boy this these uh, rubber band things do not hold up to time. <laughs> and I don't even know. Let's say 2008. So, what was that? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 years. So, sorry for my bad math or slow math. I was tired. All right. So, there it is. All right. I'm, I'm playing with my toys. Uh, put that down there. I uh, didn't forget anything, did I? No, I did not. All right. So, and it hit the floor. So there's the Aries head, which kind of has almost a Norman Osborn sort of head to it. You know what I mean? Anybody else agree? If you if you agree, head down to the comments and say, yeah, you're right. A little bit of slop right there. A little bit of, or he may be balding. I don't know. Didn't know God's balded, but there we go. So yeah, here is the ultimate war machine. So it looks like it twists at the up there so it didn't break up here. This goes up to get out of the way. Pew 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 pew. And uh Oh, sorry, Napoleon Dynamite. That's who the person said I sounded like. N Napoleon Dynamite. So um I don't know. I was like I've never heard that before, but you know, there's I've been called a lot worse, I assure you. So, uh, got this Hasbro made in China right there. Got his trademark 2000 and it looks like 2003. Maybe it's just the way the light's hitting it. No, it's 2008. Okay. It is? Is it? I don't know. Could be just the way the light's hitting it. it didn't get stamped all the way. But articulation is zip zero nada. Uh, these do come off. I suppose you could allow now. No, those just come off for no reason. So, I don't know. I don't know what the reason would be for that. But the, oh, I got it upside down. There's probably the problem. There's probably the problem. And I'm trying to talk like Napoleon Dynamite. It's been a while since I've seen that. Oh gosh, jeez. And I'm kind of almost sounding like a Beavis and Butthead character. Damn it, Bobby. Uh so yeah there's the waist articulation is ugh, none <laughs> that's awesome yeah that that is it boys there's a little bit of little bit going on there oh yeah there's here's the leg articulation not bad that's better than i thought it was gonna be of course it's got the ball hips so if he wants to get funky and do a splits he can all right fantastic a lot of people hate these the ball hips, I don't care. I mean, I, I get it if you're figure photography and stuff like that, but if you do your lighting enough and you have enough cool stuff going on and all that kind of stuff, that's that doesn't bother me. I like it. If it bothers you, then I will have a P.O. box and you can send me all your ball-jointed figures and you can tell me how much you hate them and you're glad to get them out of your life. and I'll give them a home. So there you can look up a little, down a little. So if you're doing a flying pose, that would not, I mean, you can't get, there's nothing. I mean, you couldn't do maybe a up like this kind of a pose. But yeah, they've come a long way, baby. But yeah, down, great down. I mean, so if he's wanting to look, you could have him up in the air like this looking down if you wanted to do a pose or something. So there's back, there's ultimate warm sheath butt sorry no consent um there we go 
stand up he stands up pretty good probably I need to heat it a little or move it like that a little more so yeah he's a little kicked off to the side but not too terrible all in all he'll look great sitting in a hall of armor and I'm glad I got it I'm glad I got a great deal on it I'll take this deal all day long and twice on Sunday so there you go there's my little review of the Marvel Legends from 2008 Ultimate War Machine. So if you made it this far and you haven't liked it yet, boop, hit that like button. You know, subscribe, tell your friends, tell a neighbor, tell a person in the grocery store line. Be like, that 417 Manchild does some fun stuff. Or if not, go in the comments and say, dude, this is your problem. You need to be doing this or you need to be doing this. And I will, I will read it. I will say thank you and i will, might even try some of your stuff who knows i'm always looking to build the channel a little more but this is a whatever wednesday i do not know if i said that or not hopefully i, I said that so we do a whatever wednesday every wednesday we do a spawn saturday where we open up new and old spawn and we have a vintage marvel monday where we open a bunch of toy biz marvel figures so come back for all of those until next time be good to one another get out there find those deals and um just have a great day we'll talk to you later bye real quick i went to see if i could take the head off of this and i pulled it off and there is an unpainted, I'm assuming, uh, Brody or I don't, Iron Man. I don't know. He's got a Tom Selleck mustache. I don't know if you can see that or not, but fun. I don't think that's supposed to have happened, but oh well.